right, here we got our driving video on our 74 Ram Tradesman. Uh, all original Survivor from California. You know, it's got a clean Washington title now, but you can see all the blinkers are working. Running nice and clean, you can see from the side exhaust. The dealer plate just has a magnet on the back, um, so you don't gotta worry about it messing up the paint. Little bulb went out here, 194, but super easy, two screws. We'll get it addressed. All right, so pretty simple in here. Um, we're gonna go ahead and uh, turn the four ways off. I forgot to mention, obviously the armrest has been replaced, but another cool thing to see still is these little pieces here. Um, little access points. So I'm gonna, these seats do swivel all the way around, which is really cool to see. Um, there's also pictures inside the motor on the ad, so you see these. Uh, I see original AC truck, which is really cool to see. This stuff's the impossible stuff to find. You can get a modern AC unit uh, compressor and get it going, or you could get an old uh, you know compressor out of a pickup truck van uh, for many years. So really interchangeable. Uh, wipers work. Two speeds, of course, full luxury. Amazingly, you know, you still have the decals above all the stuff. The lighter still works. We'll get that going. Uh, both original keys. I mean, 40 plus years, and to have the dealer plate frames, all original decals on this thing. Both original uh, frame, uh, both original keys. Uh, all gauges working. You know, I'll put it in. It runs really nice and smooth. You can see I got it in gear. Didn't die and fall on its face. E brakes obviously works. We're gonna go ahead and get cruising here. Uh, really basic. I love the old trucks because I mean, there's you know, really basic. Everything works on it. Stops really nice and smooth. You know, you probably, you know, if it's something you're gonna drive a whole lot, you know, the tires are uh, no weather cracks or any, anything like that. Um, but they are tall, skinny tires. You might want to put something on. You know, I think this thing with a killer with some Craggers, with some '60 series, some fat tires in the back, some white letters, or get some Western uh, mags or some uh, slot mags. Um, but you can also buy the torque thrust for dirt cheap, probably about 500 bucks, mounted and balanced. Put a staggered fitment or eights all the way around. Um, but it's so original, I didn't want to touch that. If this thing had been repainted or had a bunch of modifications, I would have definitely thrown the torque thrust on there. That's just kind of like a you can't beat it deal. Um, but you can see it just drives really nice and smooth. I mean, this thing, I'd take it out in traffic. I wouldn't be scared. I wouldn't be nervous. Um, wing windows lock and both of them stay in place. I mean, look how tight that is. I mean, stuff like that's just unbelievable. Locks nice. Keep down the wind noise. Drives super straight. Just nice and easy to turn. But you might want to, uh, you know, if you're replace the shocks you know it, it drives like a big tall skinny short van um, it's got a little bit of sway to it a little bit of swagger but uh, you know it's got a little path got a little 318 you can hear it kick on I mean this thing uh, doesn't make any excuses for itself but it's definitely not gonna uh, line up against a uh, uh, modern muscle car especially uh, or an old one um, I mean it's just not what it's designed for what it's designed for is reliability strength and uh, dependability and that's exactly what this thing will give you. Cheap maintenance, I mean, replacing brakes down the road on this thing, doing tune-up is just, it's super easy with this doghouse. People might be afraid of the van, but man, it is easy to work on these things. So, you know, it's like, you know, keep in mind, this is designed for, uh, when it was built and designed was, you know, this era of truck was designed actually in the 60s. So, um, you know, technology is very old. It's not designed for uh, going 80 miles an hour down the road. I mean, you're gonna go like 70, and you're gonna want to basically leave that as your limit. But I mean, it is. As you can see, this thing is just easy, squeezy, man. Just glides down the road. Uh, big open window, just really cool. This thing's just got that killer old retro look. Both side windows roll down, nice and smooth. Um, I'm going to take you on some potholes up here. That goes a little bit in here because there's just nothing in here. If you were to put some side panels up and a headliner, um, then it would be less echoey. But, you know, you got a little bit of surface rust on top of the dash. Um, when they built these, they weren't thinking, hey, this truck, let's build it so it'll still be in excellent condition uh, 40 years down the road like they make stuff now. They really build stuff now to be timeless. So that's what's so rare about this truck, to see it in this condition. Um, sometimes you got to hold the turn signal up on the right hand side you'll see me doing the cam in there is probably busted but uh, you know sometimes it works you know left is working fine and slow 
So it's little old truck things like that, old corks. When you get on the brakes, it doesn't doesn't pull you, doesn't shake you to death, doesn't make noises. Um, just nice, consistent, smooth stopping. You know, you can definitely feel the truck's got some weight to it. Um, but uh, you know, no the ball joints, no clicking, no no uh, steering box or tie rod issue. Take you over this road. It's a horrible road. Here's some potholes, and it's just. Man, it's as solid, this thing is as solid and as rattle free and quiet wind noise as it was new. I mean, it is super tight. Um, obviously, it's got aerodynamics of a, you know, you know shoe box, so it's never gonna be, you know, wind tunnel uh, tight, but uh, they didn't throw them in those back then. I'm gonna take you through some S curves up here, go ahead and stand on it a little bit. You can hear that little V8, little, little Mopar get with it. Plenty of power. I mean, this thing, if you got like motorcycles, which with this thing would be just killer for it. If you have like a, if you're a mobile mechanic and you want a retro style looking truck, um, if you want a killer beach cruiser with some surfboards and all your stuff in this thing, there's uh, just amazing things that you can find on the internet of what people do with these old panel vans. But really what would be killer is if you got some street bikes or you got some dirt bikes and you do some shows or you do some, some riding and competition, uh, setting this thing up with your bikes inside and then maybe a little trailer um, find yourself an old trailer would just be killer looking um, but again you can see it's nice and tight you know the steering box when you go through these corners you can feel that resistance it wants to bounce back it's not, not all uh, sloppy and wore out and that's exactly what you want just nice smooth glides and you can see this thing's a you know this is really if you're looking for an old van or old truck or an old car, you really can't ask any more than what this van gives you for being originality. Uh, it's really impressive. So uh, good luck. If you have any more questions, please let me know.